And looking outwards, what can Entelechy offer the wider community about helping to work with people with learning disabilities and the elderly? It's, it's time to be more reflective again about how we see the kind of support that people need. And that's what I think we started off talking about and have stopped talking about the kind of individual support that people need to fulfil their potential and take their place in society and not throw it back on their problems all the time. I'm very aware of the recent scandal in the place near Bristol for people with learning disabilities where you have an isolated group of people without the kind of advocacy that you would like and with the staff themselves not treated very well then I do think you know that you've designed a service that is going to abuse people and it would be good to revisit the ideas and make sure that it wasn't happening through privatisation of the problems and that it was more a public service to make sure that we were providing the right environments for people who are marginalised by society and not hiding them away again. I would be very pleased and it's going to be very difficult if there were more emphasis on the support people needed for employment, for making relationships, for taking part in the performing arts, all the areas that other people take for granted. You can't take it for granted with marginalised people who people would rather not bother with if they can help it. And it must have been not bothering at quite a high level that allows abuses to happen. And it's quite often that staff who work with undervalued people are undervalued themselves. And quite often they have their own issues for them to be drawn into the work which gives them power over other people. I'm reminded of an incident in one of the supported housing where a male member of staff on night duty um, sexually assaulted one of the women that lived there and was arrested the next day and I held a sort of debriefing with the rest of the staff group to talk about what had happened and of the eight members of staff who were there for the group to talk about how distressed they were, four of them came out and said they'd been abused as children or, and it was remarkable that 50% of the staff group had that kind of issue in their background that um, made it very difficult to deal with and it was very strange for people in a work group to come out with that kind of revelation to the others and to me and so I think that can't be unusual and that you can't expect the staff to be superhuman about things so um, I think it would do us good to go back to the philosophy of 20 years ago of an ordinary life and what an ordinary life would be and how you support it because I haven't heard it talked about lately and it's time again. <laughs>